Hi everyone and welcome to my thank card. It's Friday. Today we'll be making this card. Um, this is a waterfall card. Like that. Now the stamp sets I use for this is Contempo Christmas. The ball bell from that. And then on the background I've used um, the En Francais. And for the sentiment I use uh, an old stamp set. But today we're going to try and use... Well, we're going to use wordplay. Um, the tidings of joy, comfort and joy. So we'll give that one a go. So let's get started. Now, with it, the colours we'll be using are early espresso, crumb cake and very vanilla. The base of the early espresso card is four and a half by five and three quarters. And you've got the strip which is like the anchor for the card is four and a half by one and a quarter and then you've got another early espresso piece this is the the pull bit so nine by two inches and then you scored it's been scored at two two and three quarters three and a half and four and a quarter we've got crumb cake cardstock four by five and a half and we've got four pieces by two by twos and four pieces of very vanilla which is at one and three quarters now to save time I have um, heat embossed the Contempo with the gold embossing powder from Stampin' Up if you can see that provide you can see the shimmer in the, the, the light there okay so let's start piecing this together okay now using crumb cake ink and the En Francais stamp I'm just going to Rub and tap that on. Get it nice and inked up. Then I'm going to place my crumb cake cardstock on top of that using just copy paper. Rub that on to get good coverage. Take that off and lift straight up like that okay and then what I've done I've also I've actually put shimmer paint on my around the edges and sponged it with crumb cake as well okay so what I'm going to do is I'm going to just sponge the edges It almost creates like a, a shaded vintage look. Okay, so that's just slightly shaded. And then I'm going to use the shimmer paint for a good shake. Some shimmer on the sponge a little goes a long way and I'm just slightly shimmering the edge to create that look just bring it in slightly like that Okay, I then use my snail adhesive and put this onto the early espresso. Like that. Okay, then I'm going to use the anchor that I was showing you of the early espresso. And I'm going to just put a little bit of snail as a temporary adhesive. And it's about three quarters of the way down. All right. Now to anchor that properly, I'm using some um, neutrals brads from Stampin' Up and using my paper piercer and piercing mat. I 
we'll put those in. And this really helps anchor the card because you're moving it up and down for the card. Just using plain adhesive isn't just going to cut it. So you need to use a little bit of a heavy duty. Right, see like that. And that's what where you slide it in. Okay, now we're up to our bauble stage. And using Versamark, we want to ink the bauble up. Stamp it on our very vanilla cardstock. And using our gold embossing powder. And our heat tool. Now because it is a small piece of cardstock, I just use the end of a, a brush and just neaten it up, get any excess powder off that you don't want. I don't want to burn my fingers so I'm using my heat gun. So I've done that four times on the Very Vanilla cardstock and then I put that onto Crumb Cake cardstock. You can use different designs, it's totally up to you, but this is just the particular design that I showed I did in the class. Okay, then what we need to do is fold towards you of the early espresso card stop. Mm -hmm. Make sure that's neat and straight. There we go. Okay. Now you need to find out where you want to position this. And that's you'll be putting red tape, sticky strip, along there. Now we use red sticky strip because it's a very strong adhesive, and especially with the card that you're going to be using regularly, it's going to be it's it's an interactive card. You want it to stay intact. Just a strip of sticky strip across there. Place that down like that, and that's how you make sure it all pulls along like that. Okay, 